Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. And there they were, the moments, the moments when we all hoped, g'day, I'm Sam the Eagle, also known as Dr. Spiegel. But they were the moments when men and women around the world breathed a massive sigh of relief. But it was also the moments when male victims of family violence around the world realised they also have a voice. As do I. I'm not really Sam the Eagle. Hang on. Hello. I've raised in. I've made a mega pint of coffee. And I've got a lot of things I want to say. Anywho, I won't be reading chat for a while because I'm going to rant. I'm furious. Um, but I woke up this morning expecting there to be a heap of media victorious about the verdict and empowering male victims of domestic violence and saying what a progressive step forward it is for male victims and it might mean that more men speak up. I have spoken about this so much on my channel, I feel like repeating it again. You're all going to go, yeah, we know, Tor, you've told us this 50,000 times. But I honestly, right from the start of this trial and especially after Johnny gave his evidence at the beginning, his testimony, and he said, yes, I am in response to tell the world, Johnny, tell them you're a victim of domestic violence. I found it so empowering and I was so excited for men because I work with victims of domestic violence. I'm one myself. I've got a brother who has essentially put together the pilot for how we handle family violence Australia-wide, along with um, our former Australian of the Year, Rosie Batty, and the Tasmanian Police uh, Commissioner, the three of them worked on the pilot that's been adopted nationally. It's a subject that's very close to, to me, but also a lot of people that are very close to me. And I'm all for women being heard and taken seriously, but I'm also aware that men rarely speak up. And a lot of the time men don't even realise they're being abused, especially when it's just verbal, not just, but when it's verbal abuse. They just think they're married to a nagging woman, right? So it was really exciting because I think the more men that speak up, then they're going to get access to the services they need as well. But also the statistics are very skewed at the moment. They're never going to be, like I was saying just before in my earlier life, it's never going to be 50-50. There will always be more female and child victims of family violence than male. But at the moment where the reporting statistics sit, for men it's very low. And even if more men speak up and it just bumps up that figure to a more realistic idea and indicator <clears throat> of the number of male victims and female victims, that will be a good thing. And, and I felt that that was such an empowering thing about this trial. And I felt that the day Johnny said, yes, I am, that was the day men became empowered. The, vic the verdict wasn't going to do suddenly empower men. But I think the verdict just gave it that further push and further validity. And I was very excited about that. But I wake up today and I'm scouting around trying to see how the media is reacting and reporting the verdicts around the globe. And I looked at a lot of Australian media and I was fucked off. Fucked off because they've all taken the line that Amber put in her statement after the verdict was handed down, in which she technically defames Johnny again in that statement that she released. But the way it's been reported around the world is it's a massive step back for women. And I haven't found anyone reporting saying this is a massive victory for men. And I'm annoyed by that because when it comes to family violence, you care about the victims, not the gender of the victims. And the genders vary. It's not just women. You, It's okay to be passionate about taking women seriously and giving them a voice and pushing that narrative and, and encouraging people to take women more seriously and also feel the same way about the male victims. But the way it's been reported, it's almost like, this is a massive step back for female victims again and this is undoing all the hard work that everyone's been doing. And it's kind of like the way the media's reported it and it's not just mainstream media. I looked at so many different media outlets and sources 
the, what the basic implication under it is, A, it's clear that very few of them followed the trial closely because if they did, they would know that Johnny Depp is a victim of domestic violence. We also watched the trial knowing that he'd be bloody difficult to live with and he had a bit of a mouth on him. But at the end of the day, they're reporting this outcome without actually having much knowledge of the trial at all. The way it's going now, like even fairly decent independent media outlets are saying that this verdict, these verdicts were bullshit and that we've completely taken away the experience, the genuine experiences of women and we've um, once again refused to listen to them. Amber Heard did that. Amber Heard, a woman did that. Where's the article saying this woman has caused more harm than anyone else has? Like she hijacked the Me Too movement. Now, as much as the Me Too movement lost its way and became a corrupt pile of dog shit like so many things do, its initial purpose was a good purpose and it had a lot of positive ramifications. But she hijacked that movement and used it to her advantage and nobody's commenting on that. As the trial played out, people realised he was telling a pretty tragic story, but why? It doesn't matter because he's got a penis? I just, I can't believe, I cannot believe, I can't believe it. I'm just, I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked and horrified. Yeah, the statement was already pre-written. I think Johnny's would have been too. I think they both had statements prepared um for either outcome to be honest i mean there's no way johnny got in his little old-fashioned typewriter and did that while he was sitting at the pub when the verdicts were being read out so but yeah if you look at amber's statement which i don't even want to give it screen time but she defames johnny again in it um um Men are liars. Women are liars too. The jury saw the liar. Exactly. Um, and Blue Ridge, funny enough, with Constance Hall, the one I was going to, her article that was during the trial, I got the same feeling then too. It's like, and I've actually spoken about that article on a few lives and also some other articles where they were all basically saying, you know, Amber needs to be listened to and this is putting everything back 500 fucking years. And, and I said... These articles are all valid about women not being taken seriously and not being given a voice. Like, I agree with everything in those articles except for the fact that it's about the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp saga because if they were watching that and they were paying attention, there's no way, no way they would have published those bullshit articles. But the problem is, is that out there in the wild, your average punter reads that shit and believes that shit. And the messages that Australians were being fed repeatedly in the last 24 hours is that this verdict is dangerous for women. I have not found one person going, this is a victory for male victims of domestic violence. Not one. Or one even saying, it's time we took male and female victims seriously. Like, it's so skewed in defending Amber and saying, poor Amber. And how chilling the verdict is. I'll show you some of the articles in a second. Shanyada, I've worked in DV. It's interesting. So many DV experts and survivors support Johnny and can see through Amber, which is great, but they're just not getting the publicity. And the DV victims, survivors um, that are being given a voice around the media at the moment are all furious at the verdict and disgusted that Johnny Depp won. That's what's been pitched out in the wild. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are men and women around the world celebrating that a man's voice was heard, um, but that is not happening. YouTube has been more reasonable with this trial than anyone else. Um, Johnny's lawyers were better, there's no denying, and Johnny was believable, yes. Because Johnny came out right from the start and was honest about his addictions and his temper and all sorts of stuff. He didn't sit there making out he was perfect. I We played a game at the start of the trial was to celebrate when Amber held herself accountable for something. 
and the only time she was, and it only lasted a millisecond throughout the entire trial, was right at the end when she was being questioned about some of the things that she called Johnny and she admitted she said some terrible, terrible things and we were all like, she's holding herself accountable. And while we sat there in bewildered awe, she said, we both did. And there's no denying Johnny said some shitty stuff as well. She did not take accountability for one thing in that relationship. And when she finally did, she turned it into a we both did. She, nah, nah. Hello, Mark, El Marco Cinco. You can't demand to be treated equally, then hide behind gender politics when things don't go. Beautifully said.